It's Mrs. Heffa back with writing. Welcome to the next week. We are going to continue working on our pet rock narrative, but now we're going to really work on adding details and fixing up our story before we get to our final. And we're going back to our rough draft. Uh, sometimes people call that the sloppy copy. Either way, it just means that it doesn't have to be perfect right now and we're just working on it and making sure that we can kind of just polish it up, make it look good. So I've got my little pet rock here and my to-do folder. Maybe you wrote work to finish on it, however you're remembering to keep track of your folders. And my writing is in here. Do -do 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 Ta da! Now I've got my pre-write. I'm not actually going to worry about that right now. I'm going to keep it in my folder. I've already used it. I'm not going to throw it away though, just because sometimes I know teachers like to see those. It's interesting to see your thought process and where you started from. So I've got my rough draft now, Lulu and Charlie. And before we get started, move myself here so be a little bit more. There we go. I am just going to go over what we're doing today. Today we're going to revise. The next step in our writing process is revising. And when we revise in class, usually we get to use um, different colored pens. But at home, you could use your colored pencils. So I pulled out my purple or violet colored pencil. A lot of times in class we use blue or purple to revise. And when we revise, we're going to revise with, this is going to be kind of a, <laughs> we revise with our ears. That's an ear. And I'll tell you what that means in a minute. So we revise with our ears. And I always like to think that it looks kind of like this R. Maybe it has like a little ear up here in that R spot. And that's kind of how I remind myself. <laughs> And when we're revising, we're going to look to add details, sentences, evidence, words. We're going to take out words that we don't need or sentences that just don't make sense. We're going to maybe change around a word or a sentence if it doesn't make sense where it's at. Or maybe we'll trade words or sentences for newer, better ones. If we keep saying said all the time, it gets boring. Maybe I want to do something like when I said, she screamed. Screamed is a much more exciting word than said, and then it's a little bit different if I put said in other parts of my paper. So when we revise, I always like to say we revise with our ears, and here's why. We're going to do like a whisper read through of our paper, and you're going to listen for things that you want to fix. Revising is all about listening to it and going, mm, I need more details there. Or, mm, that doesn't sound quite right there or, oh, I need a different word. I've used that word a lot. So just to remind you, when we revise, we're going to add details, maybe sentences, words. We're going to remove unnecessary words. That means words we don't need. Remove, and I'll just write words or sentences we don't need. And then we're also going to move, we'll move around words or sentences. You may not need to do this and that's okay. This is just to remind us that we can at this step in our writing process. And then the last one is substitute. So I want you to think of when a teacher is sick and you need a substitute teacher. That means we change that person in the position or we add someone to fill that position. So this is just when you're trading words or substituting words, filling that position for a different word. So if I say said every single time, I need to substitute it every once in a while for a different word. Substitute, and I'm going to say, I'm going to put trade here just so that you remember what substitute means. That is a different word, maybe one you hear a lot when you have a substitute teacher, but maybe not one that you thought of, what's that mean? Or trade words or sentences. We could fix sentences too. 
for new or better ones. And the cool thing is when we look at this, it also spells the word arm. So there's A R M S, which is a kind of a cool way to remember what to do when we revise with our ears. I'm going to practice this now and show you what this looks like and then you'll get to do that on your own. I might go a little bit fast. Feel free to pause the video or go back and rewatch me because I do want to make sure you've got time to do yours. So I'm going to read this through a nice whisper read. Here we go. I've got my pencil. I'm ready. Lulu and Charlie. Thump, 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 thump. One day Lulu the pet rock was rolling along. She was enjoying, you know what? I think I want to do, I think I want to do a color. She's kind of brown, so the brown, and this is why we skip lines. Look, now I can add that in there, and I put this little arrow here to tell myself that's where I want that word to go. She was enjoying rolling along on the forest floor and humming, and I added a song before as I was writing, so that's something that I would add in, and I think on the... Maybe, maybe I could describe the forest floor as on the green and mossy. There's moss on the forest floor. There. I love having you skip lines. Lots of places to add stuff. Suddenly, out jumped a cat. Lulu was so frightened. Ah, she screamed. I like that. Ooh, but I'm going to change it to, um, oh, my favorite kind of cat is a tabby cat to a tabby cat. Ooh, you guys, what color should the tabby be? Sometimes we have gray tabbies or orange tabbies. Charlie at my house is a gray tabby. I'll make it gray. G-R-A-Y, that spells gray. All right, gray tabby. Out jumped a gray tabby cat. There's my detail. Now you can really get a picture in your mind of a gray tabby cat rather than just a cat. The cat said, you look like a fun toy to play with. Lulu got upset. She was not a toy. This cat made her mad. Is there another word for mad? Angry. I like angry. I'm going to cross out mad, and I'm going to write angry above it. Of course, you can totally take more time doing this. I'm just trying to go a little bit quick so you have plenty of time to do your revising. Lulu said, hey, I am not a toy. I am a pet rock. This made the cat think for a minute. He was a pet, too. I'm sorry. My name is Charlie, and I am a pet, too. We should be friends. Then Charlie smiled. I'm going to say smiled a whiskery smile. I, I don't know. I like that. He's got whiskers, so I'm going to try that. Then Charlie smiled. I'm going to add it here. A whisker should I say whisker filled? No, I like whiskery. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's word. Guys, I need to look it up in my dictionary. I'm going to do that when we get done. A whiskery smile. Lulu smiled back. That sounds like a great idea, Lulu said. Lulu and Charlie bounced off into the forest to play. Every day after that, Lulu and Charlie met in the forest to play... Mm, I said to play twice in a row. Um, maybe instead of to play, I'll say to have fun. I could have said to play and then listed a specific game, like to play tag or something. But I think I like to have fun. Friends really do come in all shapes and sizes. I'm pretty happy with that. I added a few extra details. I maybe changed a few words. Remember, that's what we're doing with revising, and I did that with my ears. You heard me. I read it out loud, not in a loud voice, loud enough for you to hear on the video, but you could definitely do more of a whisper, but just so I can hear it. Sometimes when we're fin fixing our writing, it sounds different when we read it out loud than if we're just reading it on the paper in our heads. So make sure that you are reading it out loud in a whisper voice to revise, and you're going to see with your purple, I'm okay if you want to use blue too. <laughs> pencil, your colored pencil in your supply bin to see if you need to add any details like colors of things, explaining what type of something, like my gray tabby cat, I explain the color and the type of cat. 
Um, maybe you're going to just move things around. Maybe you put something up here and you're like, no, that detail needs to be down further in my story. And if you want to do that, you could circle the whole sentence and just draw an arrow to where you want it to go. That's the cool thing about having all this extra space with all these skipped lines. Yay. Okay. That's a quick video. Feel free to go back and rewatch. Pause me in the middle if you need to, but go ahead and work on revising your paper and tomorrow we will edit. All right, kiddos. Have fun.